Race number five at Belmont Park. It is a maiden event over the 1,400 metres. And Mark, this was a really tough one to try and find those form lines that were going to stand out here. Yeah, absolutely, Adam. It's not the strongest maiden we've ever seen on a Wednesday at Belmont Park, but that means a couple do stand out. We'll have a look at Miss Ponderosa. Two starts ago, about a length off sense of power. Keep an eye out also for Quest of Venus. The tail end of his stage flight. Homeward bound, sense of power. Kicked a length and a half in front at the 300. He shakes it up. It's clear. He draws the whip at the 200. Miss Ponderosa, sovereign tray, still sticks on from Quest of Venus. Sense of power, though, when they approach the 100, is holding them. Miss Ponderosa, and then Quest of Venus. They can't do any better. It's rivals and the favourite. Too good, sense of power. It's a good performance there by Miss Ponderosa. Now, I think what we've seen so far this prep, she hasn't got that brilliance about her. She hasn't got a dynamic turn of foot, but I think she's going to be good enough to win a race like this. The form lines around Sense of Power are good enough. She was well beaten by Oliver's travel last start. But I think over the 1,400 metres from that wide gate, she's going to be able to just work into this race and be competitive. And it's probably the same for Quest of Venus. This horse has now had the 15 starts, placed on four occasions, has been in the betting markets for a while, hasn't been able to get the job done. But in a maiden like this, you'd expect that those two should be right in the mix. Yeah, and Quest of Venus, Adam, you mentioned, racing some of those better three-year-old races, so there's obviously a fair bit of ability there. But uh, speaking to Brad Graham, I'm not sure whether he's trying to throw us off the scent or not, but he keeps saying she's just a horse. So mm. I think she's got a bit more ability than that, though. They look the two uh, obvious ones, Adam. The two down the bottom there you have to respect in the Oakland Park stud colours. We've got Indaka having its first start and North Cole, which returns off a break. I think those two you keep an eye out for. Yeah, and I think you lean towards the one with Dan Stake on board, probably gets that first opportunity for the Fred Kersey stable drawn nicely in barrier five as well but I think it's a two horse race mark number seven Miss Ponderosa on top for me from six Quest of Venus three Dark Prospect and number 12 in the bag yeah same exactor for me out of Miss Ponderosa from Quest of Venus number 13 then in Dacre and 14 North Cole Race number six at Belmont Park. It's a class one handicap over the 1,400 metres. And again, Mark, we see the A. Durant W. Pike combination. One, I think, will be keeping a very big eye on this season. Yes, Adam arguably should have won last start and even the start before. But we'll go back to its most recent start at Northern when been a long head by Fee Demerit. Now and they're about to let down and what's up Doc challenged by Nitro Bell. The grey silver nose down on the inside and the white and yellow colours going through quickly. Sense of power there. Oh he rolled in noticeably on the top of Express Boy. They were slipping and sliding and down the outside comes Fee Demerit. Sense of power coming out after silver nose and Fee Demerit she is flying on the extreme outside. Look at Fee Demerit. Fee Demerit gun them down. Another good and honest performance here by Sense of Power. I don't think this horse has got much brilliance around her but she she ticks a lot of boxes, she jumps well, she settles, and she's going to be racing in a nice forward position. I think, again, the small field here is really going to suit. There are a few that might be able to run over top of her. The horse is like something big or a mouthy last late, but you just know where she's going to be and that she's going to give you a good sight. Yeah, absolutely. Something big, the horse you mentioned, also nominated for a 1,600-metre race at Northern. So just keep an eye out there, fun punters, for what they decide to do here. Mouthy last for me. This galloper returns this filly by war, well, now mare by war chant. Been seeing that the war chance have been handling the soft conditions quite well, and we saw this filly show a fair bit of ability as a three-year-old. I think she won a class one race against the older horses late last year and was set towards the Oaks, didn't really get the trip and wasn't 100% right. But I think here can run a really nice race from barrier four with the softer footing. Uh, first up, 1,400 metres. She's had that 1,000 metre, then 1,200 metre trial, so she should be fit enough to run well here. And we've also got Box on Lucy, which actually ran a pretty nice second last start behind Enticing Star at massive odds of $61. Probably the best Dick Turpin going mm. around the state at the moment with Box on Lucy, and we know lights these conditions as well. And I agree with you, Mouth for Lass. We've just seen the war chance like this thing out of the track and they're getting better with the further distance that 14 and 1600 meters really does seem to be ideal but i was going to go with a horse that just no ticks all of the boxes and that's number one sense of power from five something big as he said is double nominated two all settled and six box on lucy i've got a three on top here a malfi last first up i think she can run well from one sense of power five something big and number six, Box on Lucy. Race number seven at Belmont Park. It's a class three handicap over the 1,650 metres. And Mark, well, it's a really competitive race. There's three or four that have been racing against each other. They've been dropping in distance in class, but they meet all again here, and I think any one of them could get up. Yeah, Bella's Idol's a replay horse, Adam. I really like the effort last start behind Just Elated, and Just Elated has since come out 
and run very well in town. Command on the outside, levelled up. Quickly joined by Just Elated. They brushed leather. They've headed at her ends at two lengths. Bella's Idol, King of Hollywood. Just Elated, though, has raced to the front now. Got the better of them all. Kick two clear. Battling away is Bella's Idol, followed then by King of Hollywood. At the 100, Just Elated still in front. Bella's Idol is making a last lunge but won't get there. The post came too quickly. and just Yeah, Bella's Idol is one that goes outside of these form lines, but I think this is the one to keep an eye on. I thought it was a really good win two starts ago. And then last start, the replay that we saw there was a nice performance as you said just delayed it's gone on with it and I think despite that horse taking a long time to break through its main status it actually has a fair bit of ability and we're starting to see that now as well from barrier eight I think this horse has probably just got the class edge on them again the closer we get to a good four the better this horse is going to go proclamation back out to 1650 meters here after running last start over 1400 meters and winning three starts ago over 1700 meters gee the race looks to set up well for him from barrier two it's a big tick for mine I thought last start this horse just showed the class because I thought it needs 16 or 1700 metres. As you said, it won over that distance two starts ago. Benny Cambo, which is in this race, dropped back and was a really good performance behind Fire Detonated. That horse again has run well since on a Saturday. Ticks a lot of boxes. Price catch up the top there as well. Drops in class last start behind a night of pro in Saturday three year old grade. Beaten five lengths, but thought it was an honest performance. He's probably not up to that level, maybe in the future, but back down to this grade, he can certainly be competitive. Has won over 1400 metres as well. I think the extra distance distance will suit. As you said, doesn't have that type of brilliance, but can probably go pretty well in a race like this and gets the one and a half kilos off the back. But I go with three here, Bella's Idol. I think it's the one to beat from four Proclamation, five Cambo and one prize catch. Same exactor for me, Adam. Number three, Bella's Idol. Four Proclamation, one prize catch and number 12, which is Montoya's. Final race of the day at Belmont Park. It's a class three handicap over the 1,650 metres. And Mark, I'm looking forward to this. There's a few that have shown they love the Sting Other Trap. There's a few that are building towards some staying races, but I think Fresh can run a race. So it is an intriguing way to finish the day. Yeah, it is. And we saw a week ago, take it like a man, just plough through those heavy conditions. They were going to send it off to be... Uh, rehomed re uh, this galloper and now he gets another go. Hopefully soft conditions for him, but let's have a look at him winning last start. Keep keeps coming and down the outside, letting rip is Ura. And at the 300, Ura swept up, went to the lead. Down the outside, take it like a man runs on. Also behind those then came Midnight Drama, but take it like a man took off at the 100 and take it like a man had shot away. Triple Express ran to second from Midnight Drama, but take it like a man drawing right away. Take it like yeah, it was a brilliant performance there by Take It Like A Man. As you said, I, I spoke to Nick Cox to start before and he goes, if it doesn't do anything now, we're going to send it off to go be a jumps horse. And they decided to go around again because they had no luck with it. And they got the heavy track and this horse just swam through it as well. So they're hoping for the same again here. Look, you can't jump in this horse with too much confidence. It was only its second win. But from what we saw there, as you said, any rain, any soft track, it has to be respected now. Absolutely, Adam. We've also got in the race there, Let's Twist was really nice effort first start over the 1,400 metres on that occasion, worked the line well behind Fire Detonator, drops back in class as well, out to 1,650 metres, certainly ticks a lot of boxes. Yeah, it was an intriguing race from Barrier 3. I don't know how it got in the position it did through the early stages, and then it had to come around them wide as well. But I love the way this horse just sort of let down, and uh, it was an interrupted run at stages down the straight. I think going up to 1,600 metres is ideal. The sting out of the track will suit as well, and Joey as a party gets his opportunity on this mare. I think she can play a part. Feeder Merritt as well. Last start winner we mentioned earlier, beating Sense of Power. Form reads really well. Was disappointing, I thought, two starts ago at Belmont. Didn't really show much, but hopefully she can take that step up now. She still does a lot wrong, this horse. She's one that she's just uh, continuing to improve with each run and learn the game. And I'm hoping now that maybe she's hit the front with that race that she'll be able to just switch on and understand what the game's about because she does have a lot of ability and she could be winning a race like this as well. But I'm going to go with number two, Let's Twist. I think the stayer can steal this race. From number six, Feed to Merit. Number seven, Take It Like a Man and eight, Starkle. I'm going seven, Take It Like a Man here to back up after a week and win again from the six feed to merit. Two let's twist and number three, big red Costa. Time now to turn our attention to the best bets of the card and Mark, I'm going to go with race six, number one, Sense of Power and race seven, number three, Bella's Idol. Adam, I'm going race one, number three, Ragnar's Saga and race five, number seven, Miss Ponderosa in the mate. As we always do say, you can follow us on social media. You can see that on screen at the moment. Perthracing.com.au for all of your event information and make sure you do follow us on our YouTube channel as well. On behalf of both of us, hopefully we found you plenty of winners. Quick,